Hey, welcome back to the series. This is the fifth video, I believe, on a, on this map making series featuring my Cops and Arbors map. And in this one, I'm going to teach you about how I did the points, which is kind of complicated since Minecraft doesn't doesn't normally have a uh, team points system, which you can see on the right. I've got the robbers have their points and the cops have their points. So as you already know, the cops and ro the robbers, excuse me, are uh, two different teams, and uh, when any team gets 10 points, as you can see on the right, that team wins. So I'll go over the whole winning system as well in this video. And that resets a lot of things and it teleports people places and, well, you will see. So I'm going to spectate mode myself. Um, so the two criteria that have to be met, or sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. The criteria that have to be met in order for a team to get a point is if you're a robber, you uh, you have to deposit your gold in the uh, gold deposit, which is right here. Or if you are a cop, you have to send a robber to jail, which is done by uh, killing the robber. And so that gives you a point. And if, if you get a gold in the gold deposit, that gives you two points. So the way the gold deposit works is, uh, or sorry, I, I explained the last video. The way uh, the gold deposit adds a point to the robbers is through some of these command blocks. Let me game and see myself. Um, I believe it's the first two. Yes, so what this does is it does scoreboard players add robbers. And normally robbers would be, or sorry, normally the thing in that space would be a player name, but I'm doing the team name since I'm doing this display on the side. Oh, you can't see my cursor. Anyway, um, and that adds two points. And PTS is just my abbreviation for points. It's in a it's in it's a uh, sorry dummy objective um so that's just for display that's not actually that do, the team points doesn't actually matter when uh for winning the game that's just to, to uh display how many points the team has what really matters though is this command block over here which adds ev which adds two points two to everybody on the robbers team so what the points two objective is is it's this objective that you can't really see but it goes along with the points objective and that is what is measured when uh when it the game tests to see if anybody wins. So uh, that's how it works for the robbers. I've uh, I've put my points to with the uh, list by the way, so you can see. For the cops, let me fly over here. Actually, I think it's over here. This looks about right. Um, when you go to the jail, it uh it sends you here first to this little place whole area and uh, one of the things that happens when you're here is that's not the right one. Oh yes so it adds one point to the cops and this is the cops team using quotation marks it it acts as a player and that's the one in the sidebar again and then it adds a point to everybody on the cops team. So th these two points as I already said they're separate they're separate objectives one is PTS and one is PTS2. PTS2 is the dis or sorry, PTS2 is the actual points, and PTS is the display points, which you see on the left. I'm sorry, the right. Uh, so, that's pretty much all how the points work. It took me quite a while to figure out that. I had to watch a lot of YouTube videos to figure out how to do team points. But that's how they work. So, now I'm going to go into the winning system, which is this ginormous thing down here. Well, I, I suppose compared... It's not ginormous comparatively, but... uh. Or no, I'm, I cannot speak. It is ginormous comparatively, but in terms of, or compared to other people's big redstone creations, this thing is pretty tiny. So what happens is anytime anybody gets a point, um, a redstone block is set right here. And what that does is it activates these two command blocks. So for the robbers, it'll test for somebody on the robbers team, which has a points two score of 10, which you can see on the right is the two win score 10. And so if you if you go up to that two win score, which is 10, I'm sorry, if you get up to 10, which is the two win score, trying to get the logic correct in my head, it's kind of confusing, it will uh, activate this comparator, which will activate all these command blocks and all these command blocks. Uh, what these command blocks are doing, they're, they're just setting a, well, it's, it's oops, there we go. Um, this this whole row is setting air in the places where the buttons were in the bank 
to make sure you can't go back into the same doors again for the next game without getting a key, which is kind of confusing. I might go into that later. And then this row just uh, it sets gold blocks back inside the bank, so it like refills the bank. And so this whole area gets activated regardless of uh, which team wins. So if the robbers win, what it does is it does all of these commands. One, it clears all the effects from everyone. It uh, leaves everybody of their team, so everyone is not on a team anymore. You see how my nameplate is red. It'll turn white. It uh, clears everyone's inventory, teleports everybody to a location I'll show you in a minute. It says something. Oh yeah, it says the robbers win, and over there it'll say the cops win. Uh, it sets the cops points to zero and the robbers points to zero, and resets all the uh, points too. I'm not sure what this is. Oh yes, okay, this just uh, sets this command block back because for some reason it stops working. And for the cops, it's pretty much the same except where it says uh, the robbers win, it'll say the cops win. Um, so that location that you teleport to, here I'll actually, uh, game mode, game mode, SP, myself over here, is this little area, which pretty much just says thanks for playing and everything and then you can go back to spawn. So that is the entirety of how the point system and the winning system works in my Cops and Robbers minigame. Uh, I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.